welcome to episode six of the Stay at Home Shopping Network. Everything that we're going to be showing you today, you can purchase at jamierayvintagehome.com. And I did make sure that uh, I have it on the correct website today. It's on the right one. <laughs> yeah, because uh, last week we last had a little bit fun. of a situation, but this week I'm a little bit more on top of it. I've got my laptop, so I should be able to see comments and go back and forth between all of the different places we're streaming as well as the website. So welcome. If you are new to our channel, we do a stay at home shopping network on Thursdays, but we also have thrift hauls, junk makeovers, DIYs, farmhouse renovation videos. So make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the fun. When she says farmhouse renovation videos, we're building a whole house. <laughs> Legit, builders. there's farmhouse. <laughs> all right. I said, Moon, you can watch it anywhere you want. So first up, I'm going to show these so I can get them out of my way. If you watched Tuesday's video, we finished a bunch of thrift store projects and you're going to see some of them in here, but we have this set of bowls, salad bowls, and they're all matching. They're painted in light cream. Yeah, it's farmhouse finishes, light I cream. I was like, is it fresh cream or light cream? And they are <laughs> sealed with hemp oil. And we, they're all food safe, but I would not suggest submerging them in water. Yeah, so there is, I mean, the farmhouse finishes is less likely to crack, but someone probably oiled these at some point. Oop, I'm Sorry. too far away. I got too much stuff in my way. I'm coming close. So Zeb, this was his pick and his idea. It's listed in Zeb bowls, and you also get the big mama jamma. And Mariah is on here, so she will drop links while we're live. And then if you're not watching us live, you can just go to jamierayvintagehome.com and if it's still available, you can buy it. Don't look at my hands, I'm not a hand model. You're not a, you're a hand model today. <laughs> so what I'm showing you is there is a little bit of cracking and chipping in here, even though it's farmhouse finishes, but it is food safe, but you know, it's, it's probably like a hand wash item only. And if you get a little chipping and crackle, we think that's all the better, but uh, just know it is possible and might happen down the road. Connie says she loves them. Um, let's see. Um, if you purchase while we are live, I will try and shout you out. I've got the website open. I'm not guaranteeing that I will be able to. <laughs> Usually it gets a little bit crazy after we get going. So, all right. Okay, I'm moving stuff. Do we sell more sweet piggins or farmhouse finishes? I would say it's about 50-50. They're both food safe, so it just yeah. depends. It depends if people want chippy or not chippy. So, chippy I guess or that, I would say chippy or less chippy. Less chippy, yeah. <laughs> um, and that's a that's a loaded question. I'm not really sure on that one. All right, so we've got this shelf that we finished. We actually finished this in the live video on Saturday. Says we check went, your volume, please. Um, can you make sure that the volume is up on Facebook? Um, well, the, the, that won't adjust how the mic is. There's set multiple there. people that said to check it, so I will go over there and do it. All right. I know you don't Here, like I'll get her. around and see. Yeah, you might just need to move the camera close or yell at it. We could yell. So this little shelf, I don't know out? how much you have this shelf listed for though. All right. Is it better now? Oh, that shelf? Let me pull it up. Hold on. All right. Let me know if you can hear me better now. I turned up the volume on my phone. I also don't know if your phone is on Do Not Disturb. Uh, it is on Do Not Disturb. I did yeah. do that. Hold All on. right. This is a tin shelf. Tin shelf. Pulling it up here. We have one in stock, only one because I painted and sealed this. It's and a unique this item. one, this one is listed at $22.95. So it measures, because I measured it ahead of time, 24 by 7 by 5 and a half. And the bottom is pressed tin and the top is wood and it has a ridge here for your plates or whatever you put on the on top of it. And it does have the hanging hardware on the back. So that's pretty cool. Hanging hardware included with this one. All right. All right. They said they can hear us. All right. Awesome. That worked. We're still figuring out how to go live in all the places and sell all the things. So this right. isn't new. We showed this one of the first weeks we got going, but just wanted to show you again because it's been out of stock and it's a fun little caddy tote. So that's a blue. It's the blue pail. And let me pull that up. Mariah's going to drop the link in there. I should like have all the pricing memorized and printed out, but that doesn't ever happen. <laughs> Good it's luck. not actually old, but it looks old. So yeah. you like stuff that looks old, but you're a little worried about it actually being old. The blue divided pail is good. And we have this one listed, um, let's see, it's seven and a half by seven and three quarters, so almost square, and it's $19.95. So if, if you, uh, you know, the nice thing about this is if we run out, we'll get more. And they are, they do a really good job at aging them. Everyone is like slightly different. Yeah, they're not going to all be like, identical. not like mass made to look the same, which is kind of fun. They only come in blue. Yes, that one's just the blue pail. All 
All right. Hello, and Sally Hutton from Idaho and Trisha from Nottingham, Maryland. So we have a uh, similar uh, handmade item, but metal, like uh, like the ceiling tin shelf, similar to that. Um, I'm going to show you sideways so you can see all the detail. Well, once. and the bottom is t uh, cast iron. So let me find yeah, this. Yeah, the one. bottom's cast iron. It's nice and heavy so it doesn't get tippy. It's a candlestick or a candle holder you know it's, we're not uh, really sure what it is like we're calling it a candlestick could, but we have some put debate. all kinds of stuff up on here you can put whatever you want on it if you buy it but i want what i want to know is why this isn't working this laptop is i can't help you i can't technology, help you with technology technology hates me sometimes i'm just going to refresh Let's, oh there we go there we go now it's better you're trying to make me do things it's so confused it's like why are you working you Hard. Oh, do I need to show this more because you haven't given them price? Well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm giving them price for measurements. Bring it back, bring it back. All right, this is 15 inches tall by four and a half. Oh, hold on, 15 and three quarter inches by four and a half inches at the bottom. And this one, we only have one of them, and it's 19.95. And this is something that we thrifted last week, and I painted it in weathered wood and white wax. All right. We have a lot to get through today. Nicole so, says she's supposed to go to bed. It's Don't almost go to midnight. Bed. Don't go to bed. <laughs> Hang in there, Nicole. We have lots of fun stuff. We'll only keep you up another hour, I promise. Oh, Gail's on here. She says, hey there from Chattanooga. Congrats on the oldest graduating and the youngest. We oh, have a kindergartner graduating and a senior. That's what happens when you have five children and you're like, let's just spread them out as far as possible. It makes life fun. So these are fun. I'm going to show these real quick so yeah. I can move this tub that's in front of me. So we'll talk about the tub in the room. These have been really popular in the store. So we sell them in our shop in Lehigh. And they are all the same price, all the dish towels. Which one do you have, the taco or the donut one? So this is, this is the donut one. All right. So we all know that I love donuts. I have a shirt about donuts. I have a towel about donuts. All the towels he's going to show you are $8.95. And this one just says, I'm just a girl standing in front of a salad, uh, in front of a salad asking for it to be a donut. <laughs> That's me every time I eat a salad. So are these with the same as clothing for no, shipping? No, not those. These are not? Yeah. Okay. All right, so, and that is the taco one. I think it's a little bit funny because Zeb used to be, you know, he used to be a hunter back in the day. And now we hunt tacos at the Taco Bell. <laughs> that one's $8.95, and I don't even know where tacos live. They live at my house at least once a week. All right, show them the cow one. That one's funny. The cow one is. Kitchen closed. Christy said that she needed that one. She's like, this heifer's had it. This this one's cool. This one's very farmhousey. Yeah. Kitchen's closed. This heifer's had it. I'm like, I want my kitchen to always be closed, and then it will always be clean. I don't know that it works there. Rosie said, I just came from Debbie's live video. Woo woo. We were watching that video before we went live. <laughs> yeah. Uh, One Heart Mess is on here. She came from Debbie's video. I noticed Debbie got on late, so I was like, oh, nobody's going to make it. Well, right. she, she, had to, she had to get her couch situation handled. Hey, you know what? Couches have situations. I'm going to show this. We'll show all three of these so you can Kelly find says them. that that Ke Kelly Ray's on here. She's my friend. She says, that's a take on a quote from Notting Hill. Which one is from Notting Hill? I should know because I've watched that movie roughly 3,000 times. Are you switching back and forth? Oh, I, I bet it's a salad one. Yeah, I am. I'm all over the place, man. All right. Okay, so we have these. I don't know what Jamie calls them. Column they're bases? Column, they're called columns. Columns. They are $79.95, and we have four of them today. So they're all unique. They usually go really fast. Um, let me just pull these up real quick. Column. If you order while we're live and then you need to order something else, we'll figure out like column base. That's what it is. Column we'll figure base. out combined shipping later because I know sometimes people order and then they order again because they see something later. That well, they you got to be quick on some of this stuff because it's all unique. Especially. I don't think we've had a single one of these be the same. They're all carved different. Yeah. They're all well, shaped this one we different. Had a few weeks ago. They're all different sizes. But I'm showing it again because this is leftover from a few weeks ago. So this is column D. And the measurements are all listed on the website. Um, they is that play... a D? What? Is that a D? What? That looks like column N. That is a D. Are you making fun of my... Um... <laughs> all right, tell them about it. Okay, well, what, what do you want me to tell them? It's green. Well, you didn't... 
You didn't give them dimensions, did you? No, but they're hand carved and the dimensions are on the website. So when you go to the website, anytime there's like multiple items and they're all different, you go to variants and all the letters will be there. And next to the letter is the measurement for that item. So that's how you find the measurements. I try and make sure that you're paying, buying the right one because we've had a few people not pay attention to the pictures. All the pictures are listed like A, B, C, D. So that one was D. And if you go to the website, Jamie Ray Vintage Home, you're going to see D up there in the picture and you'll know which one you're getting. So the first one is always, the first one listed is always going to be yeah, like so the first is, picture you see. This so. is the picture you're going to see when you look up the item and then you have to open it and then you'll see all of the different ones. This is column A. This one, how would you describe that? I don't know, but it's got some really good crusty chippy paint. and There's the, like a cement mold in my ship. All right, there it's, we go. It's taller than the ones we usually get. Not quite as wide. It's not, not as wide. quite square. It's like a pyramid. But look at it's the chippy very paint. Mayan. That's what I'm thinking. Look at the chippy paint on that one. This one's good. So that is A. And I can pull up measurements if I scroll down. So A is 9 by 10 by 8. That one's pretty cool. So you can, I think Kelly just... So responded. these are old column bases. Like it's got a hole in it. So think of this like this at the very top of like a porch or roof or something. Um, and then like a big wood column coming down. And there was probably another one down below with the column on the front of a house or a building or a shop. And we, I think most of these are coming from India. Yeah, yeah. They're all like hand carved. They come from India. I don't know exactly where and I don't know exactly how old they are. That's all the information I got. Like some of them you might see, like if you ever watch any videos on like their architecture or things, you'll see buildings and they've got like 50 of these on the front of the building holding columns up like across the whole front. Well, and because they're hand carved, even if they were from the same building, they would all look slightly different. All right, so yeah. let's move on. If we don't start... Uh, we gotta go. We, gotta we go. don't we start getting snappy. Stuff. We are not gonna make... We have 22 cement molds over like 40 different grain sacks. Okay. I don't think we'll show them all the I'm gonna sacks, fly through the grain sacks. How about that? So this is... Exciting. Don't this is them. column B. That is column B. And it's a flat one, but it is wide. Yeah, it's 10 by 10 by 5, and, and the, the color's kind of like a royal blue. The carving on there is really cool. Yeah, it is pretty fun. Susan can't give us a thumbs up. Maybe you're not logged in, Susan. Mm. I don't know. I guess if she's commenting, she'd have to be logged in. So that's B. I'll be right back and show oh, you. Nice. Hey, Vintage Cindy's on here. Um... Let's see, uh, oh, Rhonda Casey has reminders put in her phone so she doesn't miss any of our videos. Nice. Rhonda's got it going on. <laughs> okay, so this one here, you see where it was attached to the building? Oh, and this then, one's my favorite. And up here is I shouldn't square. say that. I shouldn't have favorites, but this one is my favorite. This one's heavy to hold. Like, this is super Wait, heavy. Wait, before Kelly leaves, what do you do with that Indian column thing? A lot of people use them for bases, and they'll put, like, um, big water jugs for, like, parties and things. Or you could put some like, sort of decoration on it. It's I, just like a, a pediment, like a decor item. So it's anything you could put on top of it. But off the top of my head, I could totally see one of those big, clear water jugs. Set well, I see on a lot there. of people arrange like flowers and. Oh yeah, on. you could put like a vase with flowers or whatever. Kelly's a party girl. Like she loves to throw parties. So I, for so Kelly, you were she, pitching it to Kelly. I was pitching it to Kelly. Kelly, you need this. So you can put it for your next party because sometimes you find like the water jugs and then they don't have like a cool base. All right, I'm moving this one. It's a little heavy. So if you're having a party, it might be a little heavy to lift around. It'll he says good. it's fancy. Kelly, you know we're all kinds of fancy when we party. Okay, so we're going to have the uh, towel of Palooza come right through here. Towel of grain. That's grain sacks. Well, you know. Hold on, like give me towels. a second to pull this up. Now, all of these grain sacks are American grain sacks. We're going to show you different kinds. There's American and there's European, and there's something special about them this week that hasn't happened before. All grain sacks and grain sack towels are now included in the JRV closet free shipping. So just like our clothing, these grain sacks are free shipping. Here's a little trick though. If you're gonna order things that are free shipping and things that are not free shipping, order them separately because sometimes it messes with the total shipping if you put things that aren't free. So just do two separate orders, it totally works. Um, they're really, really and awesome. And you still and get your starting, stuff. He's starting, so the way that these are labeled in here, each one of my grain sacks has a picture because they're all unique this and they have four. different age and holes and stains and stuff. So if you go into the um, American grain sacks, they're going to be labeled like one, two, three, four, and then they're going to say the style of grain sack that they are. And that one is a Utah, Idaho. So I believe we have four of those. They've been used, so mm -hmm. you know, see the stains on there? They've been washed, that's as, probably as clean as they're coming. 
And all of these do not have measurements on them because they're all about the same, about 19 by 39. They could vary for an inch or two either direction. Um, and we have four of those. So you'll find one, two, three, four for the Utah, Idaho one. So Zeb, if you just go down four, then you'll get to the next style. Oh, you've got them in here backwards. What? There's one. So their picture, you got each individual in picture, Yeah, but you don't though? need to, sh they're all pictured. They don't actually need I'm to just see them. grabbing them out, so okay. they're still folded. But just don't lose the numbers. I have. Because then I, if you lose the numbers, then I have to look at each picture really and match up line. all the stains to make sure they're the correct ones. All right, so this one, hands down my favorite. We have six of them. These are the, let's see, how, what did I call these? I think I called them wisdom. Um, these are the baker's ones. So we have one baker one baker two baker three baker four baker five baker six baker all of these under the american grain sacks and these are bomb i think these would be so great to make um aprons with and there are, i believe all of these are from nebraska hb san juan so all of them are similar but if you go to januaryvintagehome.com and you go to the american grain sacks you're going to see every single picture so if you just go through the pictures you'll see each one so you know the exact grain sack that you're getting i do that because some of them have different wear some of them have different marker on them or they'll have a different number or city so i just want to make sure you get the right one because sometimes people will buy them because they're sentimental to like where they're from so i just want to make sure you get what you want the utah ones always the utah idaho ones always go really they quick. go super fast but i was excited about that let's see all right leslie like i thought today was the day on facebook i was they're gonna both. just do it on there and the people of youtube were like Please do it on YouTube. And I was like, okay. So we're on both places. Hey, I'll be right back. He's going to be right back. All right. Lin stuff. Lydia wants to know what those are. Those are grain sacks. And the tub we're going to get to in a minute. It's actually really, really cool. I have to, there's some setup involved with the tub. How do we order? Billy, you go to jamierayvintagehome.com. It's in the description. Um, but you can also just type in jamierayvintagehome.com. And you can find all of the listings there. These are going to be under the antique section. So these are all in the antique collection under American Grain Sack. So these are the Chase ones. I believe we only have four Chase ones, if I'm correct. Let me double check down here. So the, the stripes on these are yes, cool. Yes, four Chase ones, and they're all slightly different. Again, they all have a little bit of uh, different wear and age. Yeah, I'm going to show you the back of this one so you can see kind of the wear on there. Oh, in the front. Too. Oh, you might occasionally get a hole or a patched hole. A lot of times you'll get a patch hole, which is what I'm going to show you now. You can see it was stitched up. Yeah, or they'll have marker. I try to show the imperfections in every picture, but you might miss one or two. So if you buy one, just know they're actually used, like industrial, which I, that's why I think it's cool. Like you can remake them with drop claws and the JRV stencils, but if you want it to actually be used, then these are the ones you want. So real quick clarification, that one had a round logo, even though it's numbered the same. This That's one has a square. This one is square. And the, the striping is Australia. on there. Um, Miss Holly, I, from this on this website, I don't. But if you email info at jamierayvintagehome.com, Caitlin can get you pricing for international shipping for the items. Our website is just not set up. But because we have another website that does do international shipping, we can ship internationally. We just have to invoice you instead of you purchasing through the website. Hopefully that makes sense. I think there's only one of these. It's got some, some wear on the back, but it's got some good serial number markings on it. Is that Fulton? It. No, this is the... Uh, oh, there's only one Ames. Yeah, this is the Ames. So you'll see and one this Ames. one's been hard used. It's got some wear on it. But it's softer than the other ones, well, too. Well, I like that when I photographed them in the back, there's actually grain silos in the property next to ours. So I thought that was really, like, the perfect backdrop for grain sacks. I was like, who knew? My backyard was perfect for pictures. This is a Fulton one. Oh, and this one is cool. So this, what number is that one? This is number six. Number six. Show them the back. That's the only one I know that's like that. So number six of the Fultons actually has the lot on the back. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Mariah and Ty, are you going to move to Lehigh and create the Ray Dynasty? That is the plan. What? You let the you let that cat out of the bag just now. I know. that. That's what Mariah said. I didn't let the cat out of the bag. Oh, Mariah opened talking? that bag and the cat ran out. Like eight cats. Eight cats ran out right well, now. Well, five cats. There's five And if them. you guys are watching in comments, Mariah is dropping the links to these so that way you can find them um, easier. She is on top of it. And I, you guys... I started photographing yesterday and put it up on the website. I had Caitlin proofread it and I sent links to Mariah ahead of time 
because last week was a hot mess. I'm like, I'm not doing that again. I'm going to be on top of it. Okay. So we've got a few of these. They're all a little different. So make sure you're looking at the picture on the website. Like this one is the same, but it's got a stamp on it for HM. Yeah, we will get to the brass picture in a minute. I'll move it over here so you can oogle it. It's $29.95 on the website, and we'll talk about it here in a little bit. These are all folded. It's big, too. It's a big one. Um, I well, think I'm getting, are the rest Fulton? of these Fulton? No, um, there's the, I got I more think. different ones. So these, we've got oh, one yes. more. Oh, yes, Bemis is the last one. We've got and one we more for Bemis. the American ones, and then we've got some French grain sacks to show you. Janice got her soap today. Is it really from France? It really is from France. And it really does smell that good. It really is French soap. Unless the people that make it lied to me because they told me it's from France. So, I'm going off of that information, but I, it says it's imported from France on the box I get it from. I believe it imports from France to the United States, and then there's a distributor in the United States, and that's who ships it out to all the people that buy it here, and it is bomb. All right, I'm just seeing. Just don't smack myself in the eye. We'll try. I have been hearing about that all week. Last week, if you guys didn't watch the live, you'll have to catch episode five because I whacked myself five in the eye. Five was really the comedy show. I, whacked, I was sweating. It was so bad. I whacked myself in the eye. My hair was a hot mess. I put things on the wrong website, but today it's all on the right website. All right, so let's show them the baby bath. Okay, so this is a baby bath. So this is kind of hard to show, but it is the antique baby bath. You can find it on the website. It's $324.95. Anything over $200, except for Alaska and Hawaii, sorry, is free shipping. So if you buy this, that's the price you pay, $324.95. I'm going to try to show you. It comes with a Mariah stand. Mariah is dropping the link. It comes with a stand, so it's kind of hard to it see. It has been used. There's a little bit of rust and enamel missing. This, this is just my sticker with the measurements. It's 40 inches wide. Uh, hold on, now, I can't, now you got to see it. Oh, it's 40 inches by 19 by... 27 and a half wide so there you have it so and this one has a light blue base 19 that's a weird and number. from what i understand now this is what i heard they come from hungary and they were government issued baby baths yeah Here's, let me see if i, I can get it on the other side All of the right, table show you. there so you go it has a drain with a piece of like a cork in it but you could totally like if you wanted to although i think it's sacrilege you could drill holes. I would just put some rocks in here and plant in it. It would be beautiful. You could also display pillows. It would be perfect behind a couch. And nobody's going to have a baby bath for their pillow display. Just throw them out there. All right, I'm moving this over here. It's only the second one I've ever had, and the first one sold for Mother's Day. Somebody's love, really love their mom. All right, we're going to move on to this. And then I'm going to hop over to the website in a second and see if anybody's bought anything. This is a brass pitcher. It's $29.95 on the website. It's got amazing patina. I like the way they welded that and the way that it's secured. And if you guys saw our live on Saturday, it actually didn't have foam inside. It had soap. And all the soap is gone. I cleaned it really good. And I thought it had a hole in the bottom, but it does not it have glitter. a hole in the bottom. It was glitter. So ginormous brass pitcher. pitcher. To me, it looks vintage. But I bought it secondhand, so I don't know. You okay. decide. It's awesome. Anyways, $29.95 for this one. If you're just tuning in, you can purchase everything at jamierayvintagehome.com. We always get everything listed before we go live, so that way you can find everything on there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to be oh, showing people some... people be shopping. Are they shopping? They are shopping. Oh, there's a lot of people. Whoa! They got the good stuff. Whoa, let's go back. Let's see. Let's see, Rhonda bought something, and Linda, and Jennifer. It looks like Tom was on here. He must have got himself a cement mold. I know he jumped ahead. Somebody bought the shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we even sell clothes. All clothes ship free, just so you know. Let's see, this is, the, this is probably the largest purchase. I won't mention your name in case your husband's watching. Starts with D and ends with E. Deb E. Hold on. Order 1915. What did you order, Debbie? Hold on. Oh, she ordered, uh, people are jumping ahead to the cement molds. She ordered we'll the have to show them. Mama Jamma, the double-sided cement mold. She got the unicorn. Oh, the unicorn. So I opened that mold. cement mold. I'll, t I'll just jump ahead. I opened the cement mold, and I'm like, that's kind of small. Because uh, there's a design on one side. And then I flipped it over, and I was like, wait a tick. It's two-sided. <laughs> she was super excited <laughs> was super about excited. That. So awesome. Good job, Debbie. And she also bought 
the other big Mamma Jamma, the medium antique cement mold that's got the cool flower design. Awesome. We'll be showing the, the cement mold. We're going to have a cement, cement mold parade. Cement mold in a second. Whatever winds up being left. Because if you've been waiting for them, we didn't let them. I even, I was so good, you guys. I scheduled them live to go live at 3.50. So I wasn't like last minute typing. I found out from Caitlin, you can schedule stuff on your website. Mind blown. Now they all know and they'll be on there at 3.50 next week. Maybe I'll make it 3.54. All right, so we got some handmade items. We also got these thrifting. We got so much stuff thrifting that we we're like, okay, we got to get some stuff done. So I had to take are, my way out of the studio today. <laughs> these are on the website. So this the, is just a little stool with a stencil on it. One of our stencils that we carry, JRV stencils. Yeah, if you want stuff to look like ours, if you don't want to buy our stuff, but you want your stuff to look like our stuff, we have another website, jamierayvintage.com, and that's where you can get all the paint, the stencils, um, the wax, so this stool is $29.95. It is solid, really well made. I painted it in Farm Fresh with white wax, and I did a stencil and grain sacks that I might add are straight. You know how I got the grain sack straight? Mm -hmm. I lined up the stencil with the side of the oh, stool, perfect. and I was like, that's genius. Well, good thing the stool was square. Oh. How much is this? That's your $29.95. Oh, you already said. Yeah, that I remember. Okay. All right, this is the globe. If you guys recall, it had holes in it. It still actually has holes in it. We just painted over them. And somebody had circled a bunch of the uh, countries. And highlighted on so it and it. So it was no in. longer in good usable condition. So we painted it. We used the Wander Transfer. And I believe this one is $49.95 for the globe because I used almost the whole transfer. All right, hold on. Globe. Let's see. There we go. We've got one in stock. Nobody's bought it. i got to make sure people aren't buying things. Before I list it. So this yes. is a handmade tote that this I... This one's... Ah! Oh, I that. said nothing bad was going to happen. The door just fell on me. Can't can be bumping back. You have to sit in your hole. Just sit there. I'll just sit. This one is $49.95. I'm now moving it before something else here, falls I on it. it over here. I just it's squeaky. It. You need to oil Sorry. that. All right, it comes so, complete with squeak. So this tote, Farm Fresh tote, white wax on it. And then Jamie used another JRV stencil on that. Two of them, actually. She's you got notice the same spread. colors. I like to do that because I'm like, I'm not dirtying another brush. So farm brush, white wax, gray grain sack. And then I used a mini grain sack stencil on the front. And this is the tote that, you, if you recall, Zeb paid way too much money for. $14.95. dollars 95 and it was $14.95. But you get it for the low, low price of $24.95 because I painted it and stenciled it. It's got a great handle on it, too. Like yeah. you could you could put some fun flowers in there, like some dried stuff or whatever. It would look great all year round. I think it's listed as American Mills tote, but if you go and it's already sold, you can make your own. You go to the thrift store, you buy a tote, don't pay fourteen ninety five, and then you go to jamierayvintage.com and you can get yourself some stencils and paint. So everybody's happy. All right, let's see what the people are saying. Okay. The globe I'm gonna is put gorgeous. This over here. I can't find the molds on the website. So the molds are listed under cement molds. They are there because people are buying them. Let's, they should be in the antique collection. Let me search real quick here. Okay, I'm gonna show these. Okay. These uh, are dish towels, right? What, what are those? Those know. are grain sack towels. Grain so they're sack listed towels. under medium antique cement molds and there are still 17 cement molds left out of my original 22. I'm gonna show you all of them and then you guys are just gonna have to go like on a, Easter egg hunt and go see what's left. I don't think we have time to show 22 because we also have our corbel molds coming up. Oh, well here, I'm going to show you these quick. We'll so, show you what's left. So this I, is our, there's so many of these, the colors on them are great. And they're towels, but some of them are like more like runner size. They come from Europe and they're grain sack stripe, like European towels. Um, and these are also included in the free shipping, just like the grain sacks. So that's awesome. These went pretty quick last time too, I think. I don't yeah, think they these are, lasted very long. Because people like to use them for upholstery or to make throw pillows out of because they're nice and thick. You just fold that thing in half, sew three sides, pillow done. A little Couple stuffing. This one has a fun pattern on it. I'll show you this one. Yeah, that one's long. This like, one is really long. Look at them, that. All of them have... It's about five feet. So we have 18 in stock currently. And all of them have the measurements listed. So this is antique European grain sack towels. And they're in the antique vintage found collection and kitchen. And they're $18.95 and that includes free shipping, which is awesome. So like I said, if you're getting free shipping items, you might want to do your free shipping separate from anything else you buy. 
so it doesn't miscalculate the shipping situation. All right. They are all lettered, and every picture that we have up on the website has a letter, and then when you go to the drop-down menu, just hit the letter, and the and it'll have the measurements on there for you. Yeah, so, so I got a few that are like that. That red one's got this, nice. This one's cool. I like this. I love the grain sack stripe on this. And they're nice and thick, heavy-duty material. So I loved that one. It's like embroidered. That one's really pretty. And this is the only one. This is uh, L. If I can read my writing, <laughs> this one has tassels and it's pretty long too. There's only tassels on one side, but there you go. It's like party in the front, business in the back, because there's only tassels on one side, but it's a party. So how, talk about exchanges if you get the wrong size shirt. Um, you need to read the descriptions because we do not offer exchanges. So in the descriptions, we tell you if it fits true to size, or like I weigh 150 pounds, so I will try it on and I'll tell you how it fits me. If you're still not sure, you can email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and you can give us some specifics and we can help you out. Because otherwise, if you order it and then you ship it back to us, by the time we ship it to you for free and you ship it back to us, we make zero dollars. So I go into great detail so that way I can explain exactly what you can expect from your clothing and how they fit. Some of them are even a little bit funny. But we're also happy They're all to like, a little bit funny. We're happy to measure anything, put it on. We can put it on Zeb if you want to know how it fits his body shape. Whatever you want, we're full service. So if you're not <laughs> sure of it, you can always go to info at jamierayvintagehome.com. Let her know the item and what you're asking about sizing, and we're happy to help you. So this is the raglan tea, the flower one. And this is like nice and long. Let me show you. Hold on, wait for it. Every time you stand on those, you knock stuff over. I didn't knock. Look how long this is. These shorts are also on the website. These are the distressed shorts. But this shirt is a small and it's loose and it's right, soft. You're showing shirts. I'll stop showing grain. Okay, and these shorts are large. And so I go into details and tell you like how much I weigh, how tall I am, and how they fit. So hopefully that answers your questions. And some things are like, some shirts are like the logo t-shirts. Some of those are unisex. So like they're size just like for everybody. Yeah. And the nice thing about this, like I will tell you like how they fit. Like a lot of them are very like loose and flowy. Like I'm wearing a small, but it's not my second skin. So that's always, ooh, let's see what Patty bought. Patty. I also like oh, long shirts. Oh, she got herself a cement mold. They're going fast now. <laughs> because I have a very long body and... I mean, my legs aren't short because I'm 6'2", but, you know. Christy bought some grain sacks. My body is, like, as long as my legs. I like long shirts because I don't like my butt crack to hang out. So if the shirt is especially short, I'm going to mention it in the listing because I want you to know. There's actually a pair of pants, and I was like, I listed on these gauchos or whatever they're called. I'm like, they don't have a lot of give. So just so you know, you better order the right size. They're not, they're no stretchy. All right, how much is this basket? Do you remember? Ooh, Susan got some grain sacks, huh? We oh, also finished 19 this basket. dollars for this basket. If you watched our video, was it yesterday or two days ago? Two days ago. Tuesday. This I fixed up. It was a little bit weathered, but I put dark and decrepit and white wax on it. And now it's more weathered, but all the uniform because some of the finish was chipping off. And it does have a little bit of age, but it's a nice basket. Perfect for coffee tables. Like if you need a flat basket to, especially if you have like a coffee table ottoman where it's a little level you can put this on there and then put things so they don't flop over all right let's see what questions say okay so oh patty bought uh, more she said she bought her second one patty did you buy your second grain sack or your second cement mold people are starting to collect them cobweb says i have a long torso i'm tall yeah if you have like a long torso or short legs and you need like measurements of shirts i will totally bust out the measuring tape and let you know all the deets look you can see yourself all right, so this is the petite mirror, which I think it's weird that it's called petite. It's um, pretty big. I mean, look at it next to me here. Yeah, for I'm sure. gonna bring it up close so you guys can see the detail. On Alicia, it. I love junk. If you go to jamierayvintage.com, that's where all of our logo wear is, and we do have those shirts there. The logo wear on jamierayvintage.com though is taking about three weeks to ship because of the name that need not be mentioned that's currently affecting our world. Am I tempted to keep the brass picture myself? Uh, I'm tempted to keep all the things. I'm not gonna lie, I shop the shop. Ooh, what did Mariella buy? Let's see. Did I say that right, Mariella? Oh, another cement mold. I better show them. You better, well, let's just see what people buy and we'll show them what's left, then we have less to, oh, Alicia's on here. Alicia is 
a, I should, should I say it? Alicia's a frequent shopper and she got herself cement mold numeral quattro. All right. So these cement molds you guys might be noticing are a little bit more expensive than the last ones, but because they don't have smalls in right now, only mediums. But when they get more small cement molds, I will definitely pull it up. What so that everybody knows what she's talking about. These this are the cement, the cement molds. And they, this one, they, they do have hanging hardware. They're made to like hang for decor, but they've actually been used to make a mold of this pattern and probably use it as decorative accents on the sides of buildings and things. And they have hooks in the back, but I'm telling you, it needs to be in a stud. If you oh, can't put it heavy. in a stud, what I would do is put a piece across the back and use a French cleat because they come, your studs aren't all gonna be the exact same width. So like in the description I put, like this is oak. <laughs> yeah, in the description I put, you need to make sure it's hung correctly because it has hanging hardware, but I'm not guaranteeing that's gonna work in your wall situation. So if it were me, I would put a board across the back and a French cleat because you don't want this falling on you during an earthquake, which we've been having in Utah quite a bit. All right, I'll move this one. I'm gonna look. I don't even know if this one's still available. So. I'm gonna, that's what I was just gonna say. I'm gonna look and see which cement molds we have available. And then we'll show you guys our portable molds and we'll move on to some European grain sacks. We got all kinds of fun stuff coming up. All right, this hold on. Right. Cement. These big dough holes too. We're trying to be like the Home Shopping Network, but we're not quite there yet. Oh, there's only 13 left. Let me see if I can find one that somebody has not bought. Okay, hold on. I'll scroll down. Okay, cement mold number six, Zeb. Number six, let me see six, if I can seven, find eight, that. Nine are, are, six. six, seven, eight, nine as of right now are available. Six is available? Yep. Are you sure that's six? Um, it's either six or nine. No. Oh. Hold on, let me look at the picture because the, the tape fell off. I don't want to leave it. The tape people. is right here. Yeah, that's six. It says six, but yeah. it's all... That's six. It's 14 by 28 by five. I like it because it's got two different details. See, and it's the hardware is for it to be hung horizontally, and I actually think it would be cuter hung vertically. That's yeah. my opinion. Because I think it's meant to be to go the other way, decor-wise. I mean, you can hang it. I don't care. As long as you pay with money that clears my bank account, you can hang it any way you want. But, all right, can you find seven? Oh, seven's pretty, too. Is Do you this... have more than one of those mirrors? Yes, so we do. The mirrors are things we can get more of. So the mirrors, let me, I didn't even look up that. Well, you're showing them those. Okay, this is seven. So the flower over, oval mirror, we have two of those flower oval mirrors. It's listed in home decor and they are $129.95 each. And we have two. And if you need more than two, I can get more because those are something that I order wholesale. Cement molds are all unique. So when they're gone, they're gone. Which they're, is they're like the column bases. They are. Okay. We, we can't show them the double-sided one because it already sold. Okay. Um, I mean, if you want to see them, you can always go on the website and take a peek at what they look yeah. like. Yeah. All right. So let's show them something else, and then we'll come back to some animals and show them what's available. You can show them the, key, the keyhole mirror. Do you want to show them oh. that? So the keyhole that... mirror is $199.95, and That's I'm actually big. thinking there, it's big. It comes with hanging hardware. It is something I can order more of. And I was actually planning on using these in my master bath and doing two of them, like one over each. Here, I'll show you sideways so you can see like the shape of it. Yeah, it looks like a keyhole, like an old like European keyhole window, but it's a mirror. And it's got kind of a white chippy finish. I actually happen to know that Alicia or no, ordered one of these. So because I, I helped Christy ship it. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are getting like the lights and all of the mess oh, in the back. Look, I still Deborah have that got clock. A matching shirt. I haven't fixed that yet. We're going to be twinners, me and Deborah. It's hard to show this, so go make sure you go to the website so you can see the whole picture of it. And it is tall, like standing up next to me, it's above my belly button. That's tall when it's above Zeb's belly button. All right, let's see. Christy got a column base C, a cement pot, and a handmade rectangle cutting board. All right, let's go to comments. Kai says that would be gorgeous in my master um, bath, right? So in case you guys are wondering, whenever I order stuff, especially stuff that's wholesale, many times when it's higher dollar like that, it's because I actually want it. So if nobody buys it, it's cool because I'll just put it in my house. And if somebody buys it, I'll just order me another one. That's how I work that. <laughs> Is this on there? One for me, two for you. What? Yes. 
Okay. So this is a three, everybody needs a three-legged stool. It looks like it might not be sturdy, but it actually it's is. It's metal and it's got some rust and some yeah. age. Some patina, Zeb. Not age. It comes complete with there's a piece of grass underneath it. It might have come when I was photographing it outside. So I don't know the age of the stool. I got it from a picker in Tennessee. It's listed as the vintage metal stool. It's 25 inches tall, so it's going to fit like a standard counter height. If you're using it up, you know, up to a bar, it's going to be the counter height, not bar height. And this one is listed at $79.95. And yes, we can ship stools. I ship all kinds of stuff. I have shipped bistro uh, chairs. I have shipped other metal stools. Those actually tend to arrive alive because they're super solid and sturdy. So they're actually awesome to ship. You just have to find big enough boxes. Right, I'm going to show the stuff that we Carson made. and Millie. Tarnia says Lehigh grass included. Um, Carla says she broke off a corner of a hundred year old mirror. Oh. So these are homegrown. Bye cobwebs. These are, these are the corbel blanks, like what's left the, the negatives of them. Yeah, so these are listed, these are brand new. If you watched our Waste Not Wednesday yesterday, we found, went in the garage and we found our corbel leftovers and then we turned them into corbel molds. We were inspired, we were inspired by the cement molds because they sell so quickly. And we wanted to make something of our own. So these ones, they don't have hanging hardware yet because I just finished up a bunch of them today. But, um, so the inside wood is new because I'm cutting new wood on the CNC machine in the shop. But the outside wood is from the farmhouse. It's from the eaves so and the see. rafters and... So that is, it's either I or G. And I'll continue to use that to trim them until I don't have any more. I think it's G, but we couldn't stick the stickers on them. It is G. It is G mm -hmm. because they were freshly oiled. <laughs> I kept trying to put the sticker on it with the letter and they kept coming off because the oil hadn't cured yet. So I'm going to have to like look at the picture, investigate all the distressing and match them up. So these are in order backwards that I'm going to show them. I'll show them real okay. quick. I'll, I'll go bring a bunch right well, now. Well, this is backwards and that's I, sweetie, not G. Oh, well, maybe it's I. All the measurements are there. The bulk of them are listed at $44.95. We have one letter E that's $74.95, and that's because it's twice as big. And then we have one that's $39.95 because it's smaller. So that this, kind of this gives one us here price range. is smaller. You told them it's trimmed in uh, farmhouse wood? Yep. And so see, like that this, one's this came, some of, I had to cut that's some H. of the roof off so that I could fit some of the new addition right up next to the wall. So this is like uh, eaves and rafter and soffit wood that's on the exterior for the frame. Kai says that's a great uh, idea. It's a money maker. Yeah. Well, and Zeb came up with the idea. I wanted them framed, but Zeb came up with the idea to use our farmhouse salvage from the har farmhouse we're renovating because a lot of you guys, I know, like to have a little piece of the project that we're working on. So we thought that would be fun. So this is similar to the other one. The coloring is just a little bit different. Oh, Kai, ha Kendall had a great idea. He's like, we should just use pencil and write a letter on the back. Well, it's too late now. I, I have them all organized on the website, so I just have to go look very We'll have closely. to just look at them. So this is the Maricorbel, named and after Meryl Le Fay. Yeah, it's the Maricorbel ends, and this is... But this is still under Corbel Molds, so don't be looking at Maricorbel, just Corbel Molds. Corbel Molds. Um, Andrea says, you're the reason I want to visit Utah when this is over, Bells and Whistles Interior. You can hang this how um, you want. Do you know how much cement mold shipping is? I believe, Christine, when we sold the other cement molds, they were $22.95, but it might be slightly more for these because they're bigger. But if you go to jamierayvintagehome.com and you put the mold in, when you check out, it'll calculate the shipping. Because the shipping is tiered based off of how much money you spend. And if you spend 200 and you're not in Alaska or Hawaii, shipping's free. So if you're getting like to 160 you might as well spend 200 because it's going to cost you the same after you pay for shipping. So this is the big mamma jamma. If you guys remember correctly, I used the um, plank stamp. Because this is MDF that we cut out our corbels in, this particular back end, and I want it to look like the wood grain it's underneath. It's the barn wood stamp, I Yeah, believe. barn wood plank stamp is what I used on this. And then, yeah, so this one's awesome. It's framed out. It's huge. I think I have the, I think I have, what do you do with them? These are home decor that you put on the home decor. They're basically like architectural salvage, wall. essentially. Yeah. Or industrial salvage, whatever That's, you want to call it. That one is 30 by 18. And also what you could do with them if you're handy and you're sneaky and you want to know how to make your own corbels, you could just trace it. And then you could cut out your corbels just like ours and then you don't have to buy our corbels. 
I shouldn't tell cut you this that. one out by hand. Yeah, have fun with that. That's a, that's part of a three piece. I've crumble. actually cut hundreds of these out by hand <laughs> <laughs> before we got the CNC machine. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the cement molds you can actually use with cement. You just got to prime them. And I would venture to say that these, you could probably prime them and use them. I don't know. I'm not guaranteeing it. So, but. so this is the same one, just uh, finished a little differently. You can Ooh, see Zeb's the difference. Zeb's cousin there. Debbie's on here. Hi, Debbie. Oh, hey, Debbie. All right. Carolyn says, shoot, I missed most of this. That's okay, Carolyn. We're only like halfway through. Susan says, the grain sacks will be for pillows on the porch. I love that. Nice. Um, Don Dye says, I know they're sold out. Oh, the pediments. Yes, we will be making more pediments from last week. Those were wildly successful. We are going to actually make some special. And uh, specifically for that, we won't be using for scraps. That. And I'm going to make some that fit in a box because those did not. And my shippers are like, could you make one that fits in a box? Maybe that we already have. All right. So more of these, just a little bit different coloring. And that's why they're numbered or are they numbered? Well, or we can paint it and stain them. So they're all different. So they're yeah. lettered A, B, C, D, E. How is the graduation ceremony, Mary? It was fast. awesome. <laughs> and fast. I, people are like, I bet you cried. I actually didn't. I cried in the morning. But when I actually went to his graduation, it's like they get you in, they get you out because of social distancing. And it was just a few minutes, so I didn't cry. But I got lots of pictures. Okay, so, so that's all of those. You want to talk to him about those Donna wants a please? live fashion show. I promise Donna I will get together all the clothes, and we will do a fashion show. I'll dress up them. It says unisex is not for everybody. Oh, gosh, Cindy. <laughs> Tom says the concrete molds will be used for recreating the actual items. We actually do have a video where we use one of our concrete molds to recreate it, and we kind of show you what not to do, but we saved yeah, it. Tom's, Tom's been experimenting. Yeah. He's and got I, some fun I do have them. to say that we did mold it, and then we put it on a backer, and we shipped it to Zeb's mom in Alabama, and it arrived alive. So we will be making some cement mold decor wall hangings here pretty soon. Like you couldn't even tell that it was broken by the time we were done with it. That was awesome. Do I know when the DIs are going to open in Utah? I do not. I do know that the DIs in Utah are starting to take donations. So I would venture to say that depending on their location, they will be opening up. I heard Zeb, that Utah County is going to orange level on like this weekend. Orange level? Yeah. I don't even know what orange that is. Level. We got a super chat from Carson super Millie chat. just because. Oh, Tanya. Thank you. You are so good. Okay, I'm trying, there's all kinds of different styles of these keys. These are a little different than the other ones we have on the website. So these are listed as rusty antique keys because they are a little different from the antique keys that we already carry because they're all rusty. They're a little bit bigger. You don't get to pick your actual key. I just pull one out of the thing, but they're all about the same size. I did not put the measurements on there, so we might want to measure them, but these are cool. They're $5.95 each, and I actually bought them from a local Utah picker. So that's kind of fun. I try to pick things locally when I can. Um, if you're wondering the American grain sacks, I have a picker in North Dakota. That's where I get those from. I do have an Owie that required a Band-Aid. I was carrying something down the stairs here and my finger, if, you, if you're sensitive to things, close your ears. My finger caught the wall in between what I was carrying and the door jam and it cut my finger down to the bone. Oh man. I know, I was like, uh, you're probably gonna need some cream on that and a Band-Aid. Jen says the trees would be fun, or the keys would be fun Christmas ornaments. That yeah. would be so cute. I actually have a hundred of these keys, so you could go hog wild, and I might take your idea, Jen, because that would be There fun. are some that are similar, like they're, they're there not are all- There patterns. Yeah, they're not all completely unique, but there's, there's a bunch of just really cool ones. Oh, Tom had to go back to his real job today. Oh no, Tom. This one stuff's starting to get real. I never left my real job. Yeah. Life never slowed down. A. Lazari says, great idea, Jen. And then Sandra says, ouch. And Tanya said, ouch. Yeah, I was pretty hurt. Ouchie. Oh, my mom's on here. Hi, mom. Shout okay. out to mom. Just making sure I'm not right, I'm showing them this next. Okay, I'm going to go. And then we'll show them those grain sacks. If you're just tuning in and you're wondering like, hey, how do I buy this awesome stuff? You go to jamierayvintagehome.com and it, if you're live watching us, Mariah's dropping links. So this is the gray washed... I can't remember exactly what it's called. I only have one of them because it was really expensive to order so I can get more. But I was like, I don't know if people are gonna like it. And if they don't like it, then I'll put it at my house. It happens a lot. So this 
is it's it's molded fiberglass. It's pretty tough, but it's also pretty heavy. It does come with a few imperfections and like chips and dings and things like that. It's not. It's made to look. It's made like, to look old. Okay, gray washed architectural detail, one in stock. Let me pull up the price. So the price on this big mama jamma is one ninety nine ninety five. So what that means to you is if you buy one more thing for like four dollars, <laughs> then it's free shipping. There you go. So my mom says hi and she's dropping rose emojis. My mom's cute. Well, that is her middle name. Darlene Rose. She yes. goes by Grandma Rose. Yeah, it's awesome. And this one is huge. Let's see, it measures like it's big. 37 and a half by 24, and then it's about an inch and a quarter deep. So I think it'd be awesome over a door if you had tall ceilings or above a fireplace. Oh, yeah. I'm not a fan of fireplaces that are really busy, and so this is something that I would absolutely put above a fireplace just to have like one big statement piece. In fact, and in the picture, it looks more brown. And in real life, it looks more gray. So it's I probably gray. should re-photograph that because I use the manufacturer's picture. So good thing we're showing it on here so you can see what it actually looks like. All right, let's... Note to self, re-picture that. Is it heavy? Um, not too heavy to hang on a wall. It's made of fiberglass. It does have hanging hardware on And that. it has hanging hardware. So that's what makes it awesome because if that were actual architectural salvage, it would be really, really heavy. All right, we're on to European grain sacks. Okay, let's head over to Europe. We were in America earlier. Thanks. You know, that's what we do. You stay at home. You can't actually go to Europe and South Dakota and all over the place. And we take you there with junk. It's like an antique buying tour. So don't mind the little blue tag. That's just the number that's on there. All right, let's see, what did this? These are cool Laura, because they have these big drawstrings on them. I like them a lot. Laura ordered some rusty keys, one of these ornaments I'm gonna show her in a little bit, a dill wreath and a baby grass ring. And Laura, I believe I still owe her a galvanized um, pitcher thingy pail. Okay. I will get that mailed to you. They're on their way. All right. So these are... Oh, that one's long. Yeah, they're long. So Watch the European out. grain sacks are more expensive because I have to import them. So if you actually live in Europe, you probably won't be impressed by the fact that they came from Europe. But one of the main differences... <laughs> Get yourself an American one. Yeah, buy an American one if you're in Europe. Um, the main difference is these are much thicker. They are in better condition overall, and they have drawstrings on most of them. And they generally don't have, like, the labels on them. Occasionally you'll find them with um, embroidered initials, but these do not have any embroidered initials on them. I think... But they have been used. Yes, they have been used. So, you know, if you find a piece of wheat in them, don't complain because they're legit. Or stains sacks. from being on. Oh, wow, look at how long that one is. Yeah, this one you can I would not want to be the guy that had to like lift that. If you had a farm that. table, what I would do is cut this one top bottom and then just open it up and you could put this on like a 10 foot harvest table. Yeah, it's like that's it's almost really, six feet long. Like my wingspan is like a little yeah. over six feet. So. It's always really hard to find long runners. These make amazing runners and these are included in the free shipping, just like the clothes. So they're $44.95, but you get free shipping. So. There you go. And we have two of these. Even though they're from Europe, they've got the American red, white, and blue. But they could be French. These would be awesome. Or French. We like French people. Um, you could also use these if you had a couple of chairs and you needed two grain sacks, so you had a matching pair. This is the only one that we have two of. Let's see. So if you're, uh, if you're streaming on both Facebook and YouTube, at the same time because the video is going on both right now and one is behind the other um just refresh what letter is that uh h all right i'm fixing this because it said we had like six f's and we don't have six f's no we only have one of each hold on wait a second well unless except for the last two except for h hold on i'm just okay while she's figuring that out i'm going to show you guys some doubles somebody must are, have bought one of the h's because there's only one left that are big all right let me refresh this think, situation. No, we're not. We got windows over here. Oh, yeah, you got stuff. We, I got stuff going on. I forgot you got stuff. Oh, the doubles. Okay, so we have now listed these doubles on the website as small and medium, but don't don't think that small is actually small because it's not, it's not actually small. It's and not you, actually small. If you want a giant doble and you don't want to pay a million dollars for shipping, just spend $200 and then, then you don't have to. All right, let me pull the dough bowls, hold on. So they do sit fairly flat. They are legit, so they are not in perfect condition. But this one has like, had wormwood at some point. See, see how it's a little twisted? It's all right, 
So and we have two that. of each, so the one picture, the one you get might be slightly different, but similar sizing and similar look. Just And I, I just closed that in there. So the small one is $164.95, and this one measures 38 inches, so it's still, like, rather large. Here's the big one and behind there's it. There's the medium-sized one, and this one measures 40, um, let's see, 46 inches. So that kind of gives you a difference. And this one is 189 and 164, and I have two of each on the website. And these are imported from Europe. They're, they're hand carved and I want to know so. how much bread somebody's making that they need a dough bowl that big. Like, are they inviting all of their family over? Or is this for like in Utah, if you have more than one wife, you gotta make a lot of bread <laughs> when the family comes over. For you can put one bread. on this end and one on that like end. Like, the, the first wife makes their bread here, and the second wife gets the middle. And the third wife gets the end. Maybe it's just the one husband making all the bread. To keep all of the wives happy. I don't know. Fun. Zeb, how many wives do you have? I only have one, and that's, that's it. That's but all I have it. multiple personalities, so it's really... You don't need more. All right. Opening up a can of worms with that Whatever, conversation. Whatever, it's funny. Like, if you can't laugh at yourself, then <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Show them your stuff yourself? hanging on the wall. Oh, you're trying to change the subject? No, I'm trying to keep us moving along. Here. All right, so these are enamel ornaments. They're listed separately. Here, you hold them up, and I'm going to pull them up over here. These are cute. These are like the little add-ons you do so you can get to $200. <laughs> Because I think these are like $6.95 each, if I remember correctly. I'm going to look it up to be sure. I know Mariah's probably already dropped Yeah, them. you could use those dough bowls as a baby bath. Like, they're big. I mean, I probably wouldn't put water in a wood dough bowl. But, I mean, once you buy it, you can do whatever you want. Just so you know, I'm not showing them off today. But I do have Christmas signs on the website. We're we'll ready. show them to you next week. Next week, we'll do a few Christmas items. Because I know... I feel like that's way early, but, you know, whatever. We it's, have them. Hey, Christmas in May is a thing. Oh, the $5.95, even better. So their farm fresh milk is one. I'm assuming that's the cow. And then we have the eggs one is the chicken. And then the farmer's market is the pig. I, I mean, I guess they didn't want to put bacon on there because maybe it might hurt the pig's feeling. Oh my goodness. People have been ordering. It was like 48 orders a second ago, and now it's 74 orders. Sweet. Good thing that we are all caught up on orders. Christy is down. Oh, Diane's ordering. I saw a local pickup from my friend Diane. Oh, she bought some napkins. I'm not going to show them today. We also do have new cloth napkins in that if you buy two would make the most amazing pillows. All right. So we have showed the medallion before, um, but now we have them in mint. And we had some other mint windows that were so popular, I decided to bring these in. Let me just look up window so that way I can... So when you find this on the website, the main photo is going to be the stained one, but we also now it's stained to look like this. Same same design, but it's stained. So this one is twenty five ninety five and measures sixteen by sixteen. So that's the mint one, but it's the medallion window, so you can get it in either finish. All right. So this is the the cathedral window that we're always selling out of, and we have bought so many that we have bought all that they make because they're handmade. So this is slightly larger if you bought the previous one and you want to match it. This one is not it because this one's 19 by 15 and it's $29.95. And it's the stained cathedral window. What are you picking off of it? Just a little thing. Just a little thing. It had a thing, but it's gone now. Quality control. All right. $29.95 cathedral window, 19 by 16. No glass. Nothing to break while shipping. Do you got anything else down there? All right. Oh, so Hold the on. table is cleared off, but we, what molds? have not sold. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Look over there. No, I think I brought everything over that was, yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. Let's see. Let me but, pull up the molds. But we have more molds. We'll see if we have is more. Is there anything, you know what? Do we have time? What time is it? Oh, it's 5.01. All right. Yeah. Comment, you guys. Is there something on the website that you want to see that you we have not shown you? And in the meantime, we'll stay on for like five or 10 more minutes and we'll show a few things off. Because, hey, that we're cool like that and if you want to buy it we want to show it to you all right cement mold let me see what we have available yeah the windows are cool and they you know you could use them for for like decor on the wall you got a gallery wall or whatever but i almost want to make like a little cabinet where i could use it like an actual window oh, i'm in the wrong listing i i deleted all the old listings but i just made them private 
So okay, so there's only nine cement molds left. So so these are flat on the back. I think it would be cool to make like a little cabinet with like the round circular door and then hinge it right here. That's just my thought. That's what I would do with these. So you're going to be making a video here pretty soon. Okay, so sure. six is still available, eight still available. We already showed those, I believe. Um, can you find cement mold 14? 14, 15, and 16. Staring at the camera. Yeah, I'm like reading comments as they go up. I'm like... You, and we found his glasses. I don't know why he's not wearing them. It's because I use safety glasses most of the day, and so I leave those like on the fridge or wherever. Uh, I saw a giant... Uh, let's see... What happened to doing this on Facebook? Well, we're doing it both places. What happened is people were like, I want to do it on YouTube. Please don't not do it. And I was like, okay. It's on Facebook right now if you want to watch we're it We're on both of the places. That. All right. The salvage square. Zeb, can you go run downstairs and grab the salvage the square? The salvage square, we yeah. We have like one or two left. It's and on which, the wood. And the which red molds, one. though, do we oh, need to show people? Um, 14. I'll show it. Where's 14? You I'll think you 14. can get it? I don't know if you can dig it out of there. I, Good luck. I can, I'm going to, I'm going to go down. All right, what down. square does someone want to see? The, the red square, the salvage square. Oh, we, we saw those two weeks ago? The wood yeah, one? Yeah, but she didn't see it. The, the wood one, right? Oh, gosh, I'm not getting 14. That one's buried. Okay, hold on. What other options do I have? Let's see, is that one sold? Is four, oh, 14's right here. Oh, hold on. This is the only one we have like this. I'm surprised it's still available. It's long and skinny. So it would be really great to put over a gallery wall or if you just had like a skinny place where you needed decor. It's got like a round top. This is 14. It's pretty tall. It's like, Zeb's not here. It's like nipple height. <laughs> For him, it's probably belly button height. All right, so this is 14. Oh, Zeb's back. I better clean up my language. Okay. Oh, Zeb, can you hit what, the did clothes? Did you hurt yourself and no, you don't. You'll have to rewatch if you want to know what I. Right, there it is. So there's the salvage square. We got two left. All right. Can you so get more of these? Um, I don't think so. I think I bought all that I have. I can ship to Canada, Darlene, but you need to email info at jamierayvintagehome.com with what you want, and Caitlin can get you shipping. Oh, we got a new channel member. The product before the green item. I don't know what that is. Oh, we got a channel member. If you're a channel yeah. member, make sure you hit up the community tab on a computer and scroll back and you can get printables and extra live videos on that. On YouTube. Oh, um, Cheryl DiMatteo says, thank you, I bought the salvage square. Glad you had a spare to square to spare. That's like one of my favorite Seinfeld uh, websites ever. Okay, let's see. I just want to see if there's anything else. Looks like... I didn't miss anything. Let and me this hop one over. Is huge. Let me. I know that one's cool. <laughs> Cindy, you're good. Now Zeb's gonna know what I said. He, she says nipple height gets lower as I age. <laughs> That's oh my gosh, I die. Yeah, it's belly button on you. I told yeah. you. I was like, it's nipple height on me and belly button on Zeb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me refresh and see if we have another cement mold to show them. Um, okay, so eight. Oh, nope, that one's sold. Um, 18 is still available. Can you dig out 18? Uh, I'll look and see. 16 is available. This one's cool. 16 on the top. 16 on the top? Yeah. That's and 15, too. So we can show them 15 and 16, and then we'll go. All right. This one is very, like... This one's got metal on it. Like, if you're... What's the word? There's a word for this type of people. Hold on. You know, they wear the skinny pants, and they peg them. What's the word? Oh... Now you made me oh, forget. Gosh. It's a style like it's, it pertains. It's not beatnik. It's like the way that they dress. There, it's not yuppie. I don't know. If you're cool and you like, are you talking about a hipster? Hipster. This is very hipster because it's kind of like a Aztec design, like an ACAT design. This one's really cool. So this one's fifteen. And then, thank you for reading my mind. All right, fifteen. Ooh. These are not lightweight. The girls really love shipping them. <laughs> All right, this is 16. Again, I feel like this is kind of like an Art Deco style. 17 sold, 18. I feel like it's missing one of its little things right here, which is probably why we got a hold of it, because they took it out of service. Oh, 18 is cool. This one looks like mermaid scales. And it comes complete with like a piece of like newspaper from wherever it came from so you can show them that this one looks like mermaid oh they use like a, 
They used like some sort of poster or something. People that... are not getting to the higher numbers. So 17 is sold. 18 is available and 19. So that one, if you like have a coastal, and I don't think, I don't think it's sacrilege. If you wanted to dry brush this to add a little like mermaid tail from DIY paint, I think this would look really pretty. All right. And then one more. I think 19. Oh, so... this one's had some repairs done. There's like modern nails in this. Yeah. Some of them do have repairs. This one has the metal on the front. It's fun. <laughs> this one, I feel like they just keep getting bigger. Here's 19. Oh, I feel like I just gave birth to that. Okay. Um, there's 19. This one's 28 <laughs> by 20. Oh, Lizzie says looks Moroccan. Jenna says she loves her cast iron mice. The mice are cool. I wanted to get the mice a long time ago. Uh, Debbie, for the can, record, you can buy the cement holds at jamierayvintagehome.com. And yes, we have mice and we have French soap at jamierayvintagehome.com because Zeb requested them. Hey, Brandon. All right. I think, I think, I think that's, that's it, it for today. All right, you guys, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you're on the YouTube and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. DIY. And if you're on the Facebook situation, make sure you like and hit notifications so that way you get all notifications when we go live and we are done. So again, jamierayvintagehome.com is where you can buy all of these items. If you're local to Utah, stop by the shop. We have a lot of it out on the floor and if you come in and it's not out there, we will go down into the basement and we will bring it out for you. The cool thing about the website is that we have some things that, you know, we have all the time, but a lot of times Jamie's really trying hard to keep a lot of unique items that are one of a kind. And that's where you can also find the stuff that we're recreating that we find at thrift stores too. Yeah, and a lot of the clothes are limited runs. So if you see something you like, you should pick it up because I just checked like some of the shirts, like the graphic tees I was buying, I can't get anymore. So sometimes we get it, we get six sizes and we're done. All right. Love you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us for the Stay at Home Shopping Network. See you later.